Here are the seven hermetic principles of the Kybalion, explained by yours truly. Now I'm gonna just race through them because there are seven and we only have three minutes, but I'm also preparing a longer YouTube on them, so go subscribe there. Now before I dive in, remember that even though this book has this like very ancient vibe, it was written in 1908, and it was the product of the New Thought Movement in the United States. So while it professes that its teachings are purely hermetic, it was actually heavily influenced by New Age occultism. But anyway, let's dive into it. Number one, the all is mind. The universe is mental. Not mental as in mad, mental as in form based in a platonic sense. Edward Case is famous for saying that thoughts are things. Essentially all that we see as physical exists within the mind of God, or the supreme being or whatever you want to call it, the universal mind. And as the sons and daughters of God, we co-create our physical reality through the metaphysicality of our thoughts. Number two, the principle of correspondence. This is connected to the famous axiom in the Emerald Tablet, as above, so below. This is to say that there always exists a correspondence between the several planes of existence. What happens in the higher realm happens in the lower realm. What happens in the inner world is mirrored in the outer world. Number three, the principle of vibration. Nothing rests, everything moves, everything vibrates. From the subtlest to the densest levels of matter, there exists a continuum of degrees of vibration. From fire to stone, every molecule exists in a state of motion. They are one and the same, the difference being only their frequency. Which brings me to number four, the principle of polarity. Opposites are identical in nature, but different in degree. This is exemplified in the idea of hot and cold. They are one and the same, but different in temperate degree. Even matter and spirit, or solid and gas, freeze water and it becomes ice, boil water and it becomes steam. Number five, the principle of rhythm. Everything flows out and in, everything has its tides. All things rise and fall. To be able to work throughout the day, you need to sleep at night. Or let's make it even simpler. We exist by way of our breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Can you stop breathing and keep on keeping on? Number six, the principle of cause and effect. Every cause has its effect and every effect has its cause. Everything happens according to law and chance is but a name for law unrecognized. In other words, according to this law, there are no accidents. The laws are physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. And by understanding this, we operate with grace instead of at the will of karma. And finally, number seven, the principle of gender. Everything has its feminine and masculine principle. Gender manifests on all planes. This is the concept of yin and yang. While most people exist as biologically male or female, we are all psychologically androgynous. And again, this exists on all four planes. And the spiritual path is the path of balance between the two, what Buddha calls the middle way. Now you may have noticed that all of these laws kind of repeat themselves. So let me tell you the secret. Master the mind and all else falls into place.